start by showing the new examples we have in the tool. So you, you can go here to the uh, example to find uh, the new examples. The, the one we had before was this UML RT SDK sample um, that shows a little bit how to work with the APIs for creating capsules, ports, and, and um, capsule parts programmatically. But these three here are, are new ones. So let's start with the first one, uh, Connexis Hello World Overflow to Backup Service. Uh, we can call it Connexis Demo. Um, maybe not all of you are familiar with Connexis, so I should maybe first just mention briefly what it is. So it is a framework or a library that adds on top of the target RTS that allows you to send events not just within one target RTS, within one process, but also between different processes. So you can thereby create uh, distributed applications, uh, real-time applications quite easily. And Connectus has lots of features. And um, for this demo, I will just uh, use this sample, which is a simple Hello World server. So we have two servers, actually, uh, one English server and a French server. And the English server re resp responds to clients with Hello World in English, and the French server uh, does the same, but in French. And the, this particular sample shows how Connexus can help you in case you have a server that has a limited number of uh, capacity for clients. Like in this case, only two clients can connect to the French server or to the English server, while the French server has uh, a much higher limit, actually six. Um, if we look at the implementation of this um, of the state machine here, we see that a typical pattern in Connexus application is that you applications has to wait for Connexus to be initialized. When that happens, uh, you are notified with the DCS status, port being bound, and then you can uh, do some things to start communication. And this sample registers the single port, greeting port, as a SPP port, so it's a server-side um, port. And it also used the feature here of locator rank. Uh, so the English server has an, um, a rank that is two. And if you look in the French server here, it has a low rank. And the low rank means that it's, it's um, less prioritized. So it has a uh, rank one. So this means that when possible, the Connexus will pr prioritize the, French, the English server. But if the English server is not available, it will fall back to use the French server instead. So that's basically how the example works. So now I have to open lots of um, different small um, console windows here so you can see this because we're actually having uh, several executables that uh, talk with each other. And my screen is a bit small. But we can start with uh, first the locator executable. So the locator is one executable that contains um, like a name server. It runs uh, separately, in this case on port 10,000. And its only purpose is to uh, allow so that these clients and servers don't need to hard code the, the location of the other executables. So they ask the locator where they are, and they will get that address back. Uh, then we can start the English server. So it's running on 10,001, currently just waiting for clients to connect. And at the same time, we can start the French server, also waiting for clients to connect. And then we can start to, to launch in a client. Uh, so the first client here, uh, uh, running on 10,010, and you can see it's, it got connected to the English server because it gets the, the hello world message back. You can see here one client was bound. Uh, second client we start um, should also be connected to the English server. Yes, here it is. So now we have two clients bound to the English server. And, but now this um, port is fully subscribed, so there is not room for another client to connect to this English server. So now the next time we launch a client, uh, client three, it will be directed to the French server instead. Now you see it got its client bound here. And in the same way, if starting the fourth client here, it will also be connected to the French server. So now uh, these clients are all up and running. And another thing that Connexus provides is uh, recovery in case one of the servers goes down. So in, in this case, for example, if we now terminate the English server, it, it takes a while, but after a while, Connexus realized that this uh, service is out of 
order and it automatically reconnects now to the French server. And you see the client one and client two starts to receive messages from the French server. So one of the strengths of Connex is that you can build this kind of redundancy in your application so that if some part of it goes down, uh, application can still uh, continue to, to function. Uh, and finally for Connexis, I'd just like to show you in the documentation where you can find, let's close down this, all these windows. Uh, so in the documentation you find um, information about Connexis here in the user's guide and you go down in the wiki part and there is a Connexis user's guide here that uh, contains both um, the sample I just showed here, the Connexis Hello World sample model, and also a tutorial that you can go through if you want to build your first uh, Connexis application from, from scratch. And then there is a lot of information also about the different services that Connexis provides that is more like uh, that you can look at later when you have created your first uh, tutorial. Uh, 